I'm right on board on this whispering bullshit though. Yeah. 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 Um I watched a um fucking Yeah, I good. was just curious after listening to it. So I put on like a live performance at a festival. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like how do you pull that yeah. off live? So I'm it's... like, okay, so she's just she's like <clears throat> whispering is giving it too much oomph. You know? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just it's like a You need that cloud uh, lifter. I don't know. What, I don't even DB. know how you do it. But then you go, okay, she's this this chick's like huge. She's playing like massive. Oh, she's not that fest- big, mate. Come on. She's massive. She probably weighs probably 55. She's fucking huge. Max. She's a huge bitch. Um, and then you, um, she's played she festivals and stuff. Clothes. So I'm watching, I put it on, and um, there's this epic intro with like these cool graphics and shit mm-hmm. and like all this like lightning and thunder and stuff. You're going, fuck, this is pretty epic. And then, like, one guy comes out with a guitar, another That's guy comes up right, to a drum kit, and um, she comes out, and it's just, like, fucking crowd is just exploding. <laughs> and it's just, like, you know, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, you know, like, you're waiting for him to fucking go into it, and then it's, just like, and it's just, like, Wait, did they start playing? Because you can't really hear over the crowd. And then she's like running, like full sprint, you know, like from one side of the stage to the other, just like, yeah, yeah. England! Jumps, jump, jumps up onto the like boxing, you know, like the monitor um, box at the start, like does the big fucking mic to the thing. It's just like, what? <laughs> and you're like, oh, like really? It's. It would be it would be heaps hard to hype. You'd you'd like, want to just fucking start ripping it and go. No, that's not how the song goes. Imagine yeah, trying you'd to hype want, your live version like, would be like a bit more rocking. I reckon shouting. You you'd be shouting it. it. Mm. Why wouldn't you do that? But you can't because that's not what people want. Well, it wouldn't work the other way. Imagine if no, uh, Foo true. Fighters Dave Grohl come out and went. I've got another confession. <laughs> <laughs> We kind of. Does. I don't know. I'd probably That's get around that. Pissing me off <laughs> lately about the Foo Fighters that, like, he's You're changing. Like, Scream them it, David! Scream it, David! Like, no, I'm trying to I'm trying to new thing. David. Whispering. Billie Eilish does it. She whispers, yeah. and it's very popular. Yeah. I've got another confession. <laughs> <laughs> or imagine her trying to hype the crowd up, and like yeah. now normally you're like, you're like, hey. <laughs> You're having a good time tonight. And I was like, wow, fucking hell, yes, we're having a good time. And you're like, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, are you a like, captain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Now and then she's like, blood hey, knows. is everyone having a good time tonight? And I was like, woo. Like she did have no excuse. She would have had to have heard him. Yeah. But she does yell. Imagine that. She like, does yell in between the songs. Imagine this, like, everybody sing. Yeah, I can just imagine yeah. there's, there's some fucking massive fangirl who's kind of towards the front, not at the front, because they're not like <laughs> they don't really know how to do festivals and shit, but they're like heaps keen for her. Um, and they've gone to the front and like they know what the song is gonna be like, and everyone's cheering and then just turning around and being like, shh, <laughs> shh. <laughs> everyone shut, shut the fuck up, otherwise I won't hear anything. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I've heard about it, Billy Eilish. Yeah, no, nah, she's apparently huge. I want to check her out. What's happening? Like, yeah, well, you haven't heard her yet. You yeah. don't know. She's fucking very Everyone's, quiet when everyone she needs to sit down, it's like, please. She's actually halfway through the set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear her over you talking. <laughs> That's why there's only one guitar player because it's like anything more. Yeah, two. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you put the guitars right. into stereo, it's like, ooh, nah, 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 nah. No, Pull no, it no, back. No. <laughs> imagine, okay. Um, sorry, just one more thing it, real quick. Yeah. It's like to get that whisper at an audible level, they'd have to turn the gain up so loud that you'd yeah. hear it going. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that would all have been digitally cut out. Um, okay. Let's, let's do some lyrics. The first yeah, verse. Right, um, white shirt now red, my bloody nose. Sleeping, you're on your tippy toes. Creeping around like no one knows. Think you're so criminal. Bruises on both my knees for you. Don't say thank you or please. I do what I want when I'm wanting to. My soul? So cynical. <laughs> um, my soul? I'm so weirded out by the bruises on both my knees for you line. Like, I think that means she's sucking dick. Mm. Well, no, I, no, no. She's doing I some gardening. 
Yeah. <laughs> you no. Everyone knows when you're gardening, you put a gardening mat down. Oh, mate! If you are not gardening without a fucking gardening mat, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? Schoolboy. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's bush league. I've recently gotten into gardening, and I don't even know what a gardening mat is. Oh well, well you're I got some news for you, mate. mate. Jump on Amazon, and you'll be. Yes, uh... who doesn't have bruised knees? Is it Dav? <laughs> mm. This guy. <laughs> is it that dissimilar to a tail? No, no, no. It's uh, a foam. Look, no, you can get, you can actually get these great things now. They're kind of like it's a gardening station, and what it does is it's either a, it's either a fucking, it's a kneeling mat or it's a seat, and you can actually put it all the way down or all the way up, and it's got two frames on the side, and you've got some pockets to put all your things in. Like a Zimmer okay. frame with no wheels. Okay, mm. so it's not like a, it's not like a petrol mm. station for gardens. No, no, it is. Yep. No. So what you do is you go and fill up your bucket with some soil at the fucking survey. Yep. <laughs> um, premium ninety eights preferred, but you can if yeah. you want if you want to just get away with some E ten soil, like if you're a bit struggling, you know, off yep. pay week. Yep. Um, I've gone too far with this, so let's move on. <laughs> um, this uh, thing but... does completely ruin your garden, though. If you, you you put it in your garden, it crushes everything. <clears throat> oh, we're still talking about the gardening stage. <laughs> um, talking about Billy so, Irish. Look back to this, like bruises on both my knees for you. Um, to me, it sounds like. She's that's a gesture she's done for someone. Like like now if if one of you guys like if you make a cup of tea for someone they they don't say please or thank you, you'd probably walk away going, oh, That was a bit rude. Like just made a cup of tea, they just took it. Like now if she's coming in going, You would I've put bruises on both of my knees for you. Don't you didn't say please or thank you, you'd be going like yeah, because I don't fucking want you to do that to yourself. <laughs> Look what I've done. <laughs> I'm not going to say, can you please put bruises on your knees? And yeah. I'm definitely not going to thank you for, for doing it. I'm, I actually prefer you wouldn't. Thank you. Both of them. <clears throat> I just, I just, just borrowed your car. Into, walking I just into borrowed a, like, your bloody car table. and fucking drove into a wall. And you haven't even said thank you. <laughs> and you didn't even say please. Yeah, or please. Well, to be honest, you didn't even ask me to do it. So You know when you like bang your knees on the table? <laughs> I did this for you. Ah. I did this for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than stubbing your fucking toe, mate. Tell yeah. you that much. Yeah. Um, can you think you're a criminal? Like, you're either a criminal or you're not. A criminal Imagine is shooting on... someone in the back of the head and being like, so, mm, am I? <laughs> what does the law say about this? Yeah. I have killed, like, I have killed them. Brandon. Creeping around but, um, like, like no one knows. Think you're so criminal. Mm. Who's, yeah. um, who's who be sleeping on their tippy toes too? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, people that do ballet, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how they that black swan shit. Yeah, mm. they have to sleep vertically. <clears throat> like... Like build up the calluses. Yeah, yeah. It's like you'll sleep yeah, on your toes. To sleep you want to be on a... your tippy toes. You want to do ballet? You'll sleep on your toes. I would actually like to know if when you if. If anyone, if anyone who's listening has ever felt fallen asleep standing up, <clears throat> do you? Does your body lock itself in and you stay standing, or do you fall? I really want to know <laughs> if you fall. I think you eventually fall, but I reckon you could stand for a fair. Bit. Do you reckon you could? Because I know you know when you yeah. sleep, you fall asleep in the car, right? Yeah, like behind the wheel. Oh wait, um, uh, uh they're called micro sleep. <laughs> yeah, they're sorry, all right. sorry, I didn't mean that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't done that. Um, yeah, micros are tiny, yeah. and, and you know what. Look, I'm a firm believer in the micro sleep because they really wake you up. <laughs> Especially when you're fucking you hit a wall. When um, you when you have one, that little that little spontaneous lane change really oh, fucking gets the heart going. Yeah, yeah. You're not you're not falling asleep. You'll wait. For you'll stay awake. Twenty for minutes. Another, yeah, I was going to yeah, say twenty that minutes. Few hours, but yeah, okay. nah, <clears> twenty <throat> minutes. Yeah, it's short lived adrenaline um, burst. But you know when you're in the car and you fall asleep and your head like the car's moving so much, but somehow your head doesn't seem to. Sometimes it does, but. Other times it just kind of stays there, mm. like yeah. Locks or when in. you're on a plane, like people can sleep with their head up. Like I swear, yeah. How? Because you're not in control. Are you secretly you haven't, in control? You haven't slept. You haven't slipped into that. Um, Deep sleep. what do we call it? Like rapidly evolving <clears throat> Egyptian something? Oh, wriggly Egyptian <laughs> men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't hit that stage of your sleep cycle yet. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the best type of sleep. Yeah, yeah. REM Egyptian sleep. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, there's the a chorus. The chorus. Uh, so you're a tough guy, like it really rough guy, just can't get enough guy, chest always so puffed guy. <laughs> I'm that bad type, 
make your mama sad type, <laughs> make your girlfriend mad tight, might seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. Da. Da. <laughs> <laughs> um, German was, for yes. There was this thing I used to do. I don't know why I did yeah. it, but I just... <laughs> I don't Russian know. for yes. What's the? Is it Russian? Da. Where do they? What do they say? Da. da if they saying yes, that's Russian. Russian, yeah. No. Don't uh. you remember Captain Planet? I remember Mika? that Bevo is a communist. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that too. Actually, da. Yeah, da. Yeah. Da. Chernobyl da. was an inside job. <laughs> Chernobyl was an inside job. Um, it's all coming back to you Chernobyl. Yeah. Um, chest always so puffed, guy. Whenever I think of people putting their chests out. Uh, just the yeah. only thing I can think of was like when my parents used to drag me to church, and you'd go up to you go up to receive the body of Christ, and you'd come back. You bicky, yeah, you bicky. Fuck, uh, <laughs> my body is a fortress of eckies. Um, <laughs> oh, I love a bicky. God, I want a bicky right now. Um, holy bickies are the best bickies. Um, <laughs> that's your point. Anyway, you walk back to your seat. And I used to always walk back with my chest out like I was some fucking alpha. Like you just like, ate everyone, like all the old people in the church would just be like, look at this fucking young bloke who's an alpha walking back after. Look at this look mad kid. And I just old. don't know why I did it. Not, there might have been like a hot chick that I was pretty keen on like at church that like, I wanted to impress. Yeah, Mary. Like... Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can get knocked up just by looking at her. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's it. Uh, yeah, chest always so puffed, guy. I just thought of that. Virgin Mary. It makes me. It makes Jesus. me. Think, it makes me think that, like, he's heaps unfit. Like, he's just heaps puffed out like, all the time. Not, <laughs> yeah. not that he's puffed. Just like <laughs> chest always puffed out. Oh, I just, like, fucking always out of breath. Do they add another fucking <laughs> yeah. stair to that staircase? I swear <laughs> they do that every fucking day, mate. <laughs> Have we got some rhymes to? Oh, I mean. She used oh. guy four times. Yeah, yeah. just one. It kinda, it's it's justified, but yeah. Look, we can because I have. Yep. Yeah, go it. Yep. All right. Um, you know, you could say, you could say, uh, so you're a tough guy, like a really rough guy, uh, Mediterranean fruit fly. <laughs> <laughs> Can if you want, really rough, can Mediterranean fruit. Oh, yeah. Southern, southern, southern. <laughs> not, not so loud, mate. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah, overdid it there. Yeah. Sorry. You were really just like letting loose, and it doesn't sound like a at all. I should turn yeah. the gain up heaps and just whisper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Tab's going to do it. Hang on, sorry. Oh, good. I won't do this. I just put my headphones. Uh, everyone um, should do the same. So, just, just, um, wait, hang on. So you're a tough guy, like a really rough guy. I eat cabbage butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Did you hear? Did I do oh, it? Hang on. Right. Oh, <laughs> you can hear me that's fish just... tank in the background there. Look at that. Studio trickery. All right, Dan, what do you got? Um... Come back from that. I'm to fall off. Give me one second. Fucking I was removing them so that I didn't yeah. have to hear Zab scream. Um, scream. Can someone explain to me what? how does how oh, does God. one there it is. how does one make their girlfriend mad tight? See, I thought that was another type. <laughs> make your mum a sad type. Make your girlfriend mad type. Might seduce your dad type. That makes sense. I Isn't know, it, but why is she tight? saying that you make your girlfriend the opposite of horny? Because like you know, when you get horny, you get a bit wet and like a bit looser. Like, uh, is it? He's kind of like he's so like he's so disgusting as a human being that she's just like I'm not interested tonight, mate. She's going. Do you think she means like tight, but she's talking. She's wound. talking about herself. She's talking about herself in this bit. Oh, tightly yeah. wound, maybe uptight. Well, that's um much more family friendly than Zav's. Uh, I did that. Did not even cross my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me then. <laughs> Yeah, one. I like the um. I think the it's the next like, line. It's the next line. Might seduce your dad type. So I'm like, oh, she's fucking obviously talking about yeah. something sexual. I also was thinking about the um, make your mama sad type. Like, I just imagine if my son, like, grown up, brought home some silly <laughs> bitch like this, <laughs> he'd just be like, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I, I thought I she made her mama sad because she like it, uh, like make your mama sad type like like hey mum this is Billy 
Um, all right, <laughs> Billy and Mum, you guys hang out for a sec. I'm going to go get my coat. And you walk away, and she immediately turns to her mum and goes, you're fat. You're fat and ugly. You're <laughs> fat and ugly, and no one likes you. I you just... come back, and mum's like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just. I, make her sad? That's interesting that you. You, went... <laughs> you made mum sad. <laughs> that's interesting that you went the fat road. I was just going to say, like, they're all sitting around the dinner table, and they're like, you know, everyone's like, oh, I love. Like, the husband's like, oh, I love this fucking. Chicken casserole is fucking amazing. Like, what'd you do to it? Fucking, she's like, ah, oh, yeah, fucking, just fucking put a bit of fucking salt and pepper on it. And then the fucking chick's just like, she's been in the house for 10 minutes and she's just like, I don't know, love, probably could have used a bit more paprika. <laughs> and the mum's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you that, mean? Um, <laughs> meets her for the first time. Hello, I'm uh, Cheryl. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> it's Billy. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Billy. Speak up. <laughs> speak, speak up. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> speak up, please. Yeah. Can't hear you at all. I, I can't think of any uh, any worse type of person. <laughs> the whisperer. To be brought home to introduce to your parents. <laughs> she seems fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. There's, there's worse two. people than Billy Eilish. Uh no, maybe not. Okay, mum. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> we'll never know. Hey, mum. Would you G'day, rather? Mom. This is it... my friend uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, you hang out here with mum, and I'm going to get my jacket. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, Jonathan, what do you do for a living? Oh, I, st- I don't have a job. I actually stab <laughs> little baby kittens. Uh, it's for a good time. I just like to stab them. Oh, oh, oh you've made my mum cry as well. That's yeah. twice this week. <laughs> I thought maybe if I brought a bloke home and just tried to mix it up a bit. Last time it was Billy Eilish making mum cry. Now it's you. Oh. I don't know. I feel like a worse person to bring home to your mum would definitely be Amy Winehouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know it's not going to last long. You go like, she's yeah. only got at least a month left to live. True, true. Yeah. The mum's like, oh, I wonder who this is going to be. And then she brings, brings fucking Amy Winehouse back. And she's like... Hey, you got a fucking bottle of wine or something? What you reckon? You know what I mean? <laughs> or a crack pipe? I don't know. Whatever you've got. Yeah. Yeah, but Adele's pretty hot. I'd probably go. All right. First two. Until now or until then? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it when you take control, even if you know that you don't. <laughs> Own me. I'll let you play the role. I'll be your animal. My mummy likes to sing along with me, but she won't sing this song if she reads all the lyrics. <laughs> She'll pity the men I know. It's funny because, like, it's not the way she sings it, but it's the way it's written. Where it's <laughs> yeah. like, even if you know that you don't, own me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this is just, I think they got to this point when... Look, no one's going to know what the fuck you're saying anyway. You can literally say anything as long as it's got the right amount of syllables in it. Can I just say, who the fuck is singing along to a song, reading the lyrics, and reading ahead? Yeah. (laughs) You fucking read as you see. Like, that's how you sing lyrics. Like, no one ever got, like, if you go with this, it's like, I like it when you take control, even if you don't, if you know that I don't. There's no way you're singing the words... I like it when you take control, but in your head, proofreading, even if you know that I that you don't know this, it's impossible. You can't yeah. do it. So there's no because way that she's going to be. She's that no doesn't way, really end. Like you'd be reading that line, and you'd have to be kind of reading the next line at the same time. Which, of course, then you'd have to be reading the next line at the same time as that. Exactly. Like, it's like it's a never-ending much. hole. So, like, how how dare she say that she won't sing this song if she reads all the lyrics because she's she doesn't know. She's they, already just coming out. They've already been said. Well, I do like oh, the shit. fact that she's saying that, um, you know, Liar. Mum, mum's not going to enjoy singing this song, and she gets to the end and realizes that her daughter's a massive slut. <laughs> there you go, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then at the end, of it, she's like, "Oh, I just said all those things about my daughter." Keep in mind, she was she's seventeen when this song came out, too. Yeah, this is what's weird about it. Red hot to be talking about. And her brother wrote it for her. (laughs) It's so weird. Like, I mean, tell me, tell me that it means something else when she's like, 
I like we take control. Even if you know you don't own me, I'll let you play the role of your animal. Hmm. What does that mean if it's not about sex? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Is it unless it's like um like a you know she's into like uh zoo play, <laughs> or she's decided to fly <laughs> to Europe, but she's decided to put herself into a cat thing. She's like, I like it when you take control, so you just like throw a cat on the carrier. Cat, yeah, cat carrier. <laughs> I'll be your animal. Yeah, I'll, mm. I'll order a, anything. I'll order yeah, a anything cat. to declare. Yeah, I got a human and a cat thing. Um, be a little Irish. Meow. I'm a cat. Yeah. No, no, too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Yeah. Too loud. Yeah, I'm a cat. Sorry, I can't okay, hear what well. your cat is saying. Meow. <laughs> Does your cat have a passport? <laughs> Let's ask the question. Yes then. or no? If he was someone's animal. <laughs> What animal would you be, Dan Southern? Oh, <laughs> I think I would be my dog, Lara. If I was my own animal, I'd be my dog, Lara, because she's a fat hippopotamus dog <laughs> and she is the queen of this house. And I rub her teats <laughs> daily. <laughs> for her. Dan dreams of being the queen of his house. And you'd love to know what that feels <laughs> like. Is that what you Lays on her back. And she's so fat. And she's sitting there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and and you're that. super jealous at the time that you're doing it. And I'm doing this. I'm just back and forth on her belly and her what seems like 17 teats. I'm just getting rubbed by my it's open It's an uneven palm. number of teats. And I'm like, I'm just like, oh, this seems like you. Have you never heard of a nubbin? <laughs> yeah. I think she is in heaven when I'm doing that. And the way she looks mm. at me, like she's just like, I've got the greatest life. I I'm. I will die happy, and that could be any day now. By the way, she's just old and God, fat. Don't you fucking regret asking that question, Ryan? Yeah, what a way no, to no, go! No, there. Doing this. Does anyone have have anything to contribute better than that, or should we just carry on? No. I, I was just going to say I've got a few fish that have died recently, and God, that sounds exciting. So it'd probably be a fish that dies. <laughs> you got those fish that like. God, that sounds exciting. You got those fish that like look like they're dead, and then you poke them, and they're like, "No, I'm all right." Yeah, that's what I yeah, thought, I've... and then I poked it, and it still was dead. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all four I got of them some of those, actually. Like, those jumbo goldfish, you know, those huge mm, mm. fucking things, and I think they're so big and fat that they just get over swimming for a while. <laughs> they just fucking <laughs> Take float there at the bottom of the tank, yeah. but they're alive. Yeah. <laughs> just having a rest day, mate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't, yeah. Can't win them all. Puffed can out. You? Puffed mm. out. <laughs> Um, all, right. all right, she smashes out a chorus, a post-chorus. We get to the bridge. Here we go. Um, I like when you get mad. I guess I'm pretty glad that you're alone. You said she's scared of me. I mean, I don't see what she sees, but maybe it's because I'm wearing your cologne. I don't really get that. Let me just read it again. <laughs> <laughs> I already did this. It's not a bridge for a prize. Why did I think Chib's reading it out would make make it make more sense? I don't know. It's actually no fucking way. Technically, a second song. Like it's not. It seems to have nothing to do with the song at all. Cadenza. Yes. Uh, Yeah. I like when you get mad. I guess I'm pretty glad that you're alone. You said she's scared of me. I mean, I don't see what she sees, but maybe it's because I'm wearing your cologne. What? Have you ever like met poem. anyone and read and smelt their cologne and be like, "Holy fuck, that person is frightening." Maybe, maybe it's like <laughs> toxic cologne where if you breathe it, you will instantly die. Yeah. Like SpongeBob going through the perfume department. What? I haven't seen that one. Yeah, look. Sorry, I still watch SpongeBob at fucking twenty six years old. Deal with it. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it. That's the second SpongeBob reference you've made this episode, yeah, and not the last, mate. No. No. Anything I'm, to I'm do with chicken run? Spongebob can this and, uh, can this a... can this somehow like finish the chicken, chicken run? run. Uh, yeah, look, um, no. <laughs> I was thinking about when you said uh, when we were talking about sleeping on the tippy toes. I was thinking about Wallace in his bed when it like lifts itself up and he it gets him ready. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of sleeping on the tippy toes. She's singing That's, about uh, Wallace is really what we're getting at here. This whole thing is about, about Wallace. Wallace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Gromit, just yeah. Wallace. Yeah. She hates Gromit. <laughs> it's on the record. That's yeah. uh, the wrong trousers, that episode, actually. Wrong trousers. 
Yeah, well, maybe the cologne is made of lava. That's all I'm trying to say. And if, <laughs> yeah, okay. If someone's wearing cologne made of lava and then we need you'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. I, I just but, have a feeling that if someone's wearing cologne that's made of lava, I think the person wearing it should be afraid, not the other person, because you should be afraid that's that you're going to burn saying. your fucking like, neck off. If they're doing that to themselves and they're near you, you'd be like, hey, look, you do what you want to yourself. So, like, you're gonna... <laughs> you maniac. Mm. You'd be, yeah, you'd be dead in seconds. You reckon this is where um, Orianthe comes in? wearing it? Was it Orianthe that was living next to the volcano? This is a deep um, podcast. Yes, she was. Yes, yes. yes she's she got the cologne on that correct. smells exactly like the volcano, so she like doesn't know volcano. what's going on. No. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Orienti does live next to him. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, uh, Sorry for getting yeah. real obscure there. Yeah, that's all right. Yes. Orienti, big fan of the podcast. He loves it. Yeah. No, she yeah. gave us a proper reply. Hey? She like... um she said she was honoured by having the number one position on our shit list. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what she said? Oh, what a trooper. Yeah, yeah. What a trooper. Yeah. No uh, and I said, and I said, good on you for being a bloody legend about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's cool? You fuck. <laughs> We yeah. we like smash all these whoever we're whoever we've got on the show we just smash them right we're like oh, it's the worst song they're they're just so friggin' they, you know bleh. and then if they reply to anything that we've done they'd be like they give us a thumbs up we're like you know what they're a fucking legend yeah, yeah. what a mad dog <laughs> not Lee Harding um, you fuck no he's a good guy he's a good guy he didn't write no, that song good bloke yeah it's not his fault. All right, uh, outro. She goes on about how she's a bad guy. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. Okay, it's written by Billie Eilish O'Connell and Phineas O'Connell. That's a, okay. that's a name. Mm. I actually, speaking of that, Phineas I typed and in Billie Eilish into Wikipedia, and apparently, yeah. you know how Wikipedia is like very always r- right, reputable yeah. source. Billie yeah. Eilish pirate Baird O'Connell. Pirate, one of her. Pirate bed. Billy Eilish. Arr, you don't say. Pirate. Oh, her middle bed. name is Pirate. Yeah. Right. So well, she bed is her mother's name. Okay. Where's Pirate come from? <laughs> that must be a dad's last name. You know that meme, and it's like, <laughs> "Hey, how come? How come?" Um... G'day, I'm Daryl Pirate. <laughs> uh, Billy Hello, I'm, Patch. I'm black. I'm black bed. <laughs> <laughs> What's like that Barrett. meme? And they're talking about like, oh, why is that person's son named that? And it's like, oh, it's because they love their thing. And it's like, oh, why is their <laughs> son named Roses? And it's like, oh, it's because their parents love Roses. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, then why am I called Pirate Bay? <laughs> Pirate Bay. You know that fucking meme? I do. I know. I gotta find it. I explained it terribly because I'm fucking pissed again on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Wait, it's Tuesday. Fuck. It's Tuesday. He doesn't know. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's not. live wherever you're listening. That's right. It's whatever it is. Anything it's whatever you want right to do. If you listen to this podcast twice in a day, in the morning and the evening, you better fucking believe we actually recorded it twice. Yeah. Whenever live. you want to listen to it, if you want to listen to it again later, we'll record it again later. <laughs> yeah. We'll do it then. Exactly. We do a lot word of practice word. to get yeah. it exactly just, right. Just let us this know. This is completely scripted. Mm. Yeah. Let us know yeah. if you want it because yeah, you know, we'll have to book it into our schedules, but we'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, this is completely no scripted. This is completely scripted. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely scripted. Uh, Phineas and O'Connell, Herb. who sounds like a fucking character at a Game of Thrones, um, <laughs> he won six Grammy awards uh, for this Billie Eilish album. Yeah, album of the year, producer of the year. Non classical and best engineered album, non classical. Fuck it. What? Something else. Yeah. He won six, so for this fucking album. Well, okay. I, don't th- I think you just said it, but did he engineer the album? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Well, I thought, well, I just thought it was him and her that just kind of wrote the songs and then, like. This has got a LMFAO vibe about it of, like, let's just go to our bedrooms with our laptop and uh, give the. Record label that, that what do they call it? Turnkey, fucking, just turnkey song. We don't have to do anything to it. Just put it out. We don't have to invest any money into it. You know what? You know what? I actually, really love that they did that he did with this. So the whole album actually, um, it's so bass heavy. Like, there's really not much yeah. going on mm. if you don't listen to it with headphones on. You know how like when you do a mix nowadays, like and this is how I mix, and it's it's got to sound good on anything like a phone. 
So they end yeah. up kind of sounding less bassy now, I think. Well, um, if he's you done listen to exact, this album on yeah. just like a Bluetooth speaker, yeah. it doesn't sound good at all. It is the absolute opposite. And I'm like, that's so, like, I feel like it's so intentional. Like, it sounds so terrible that I kind of love it. Or if, you, if you've got <laughs> your sort of stereo set up pretty flat, it's so bassy that you have to kind of turn it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've got like the um, I've got the vinyl version of this, and you just got it like fucking blows up, <laughs> it's ridiculous. So Phineas yeah. himself also had a top twenty Billboard song, uh, as his like as a solo artist. He also played Alistair on the Fox musical comedy drama Glee. Mm. Oh, I want to hear his song. Uh, his anything... stuff's pretty good, actually. Does it sound like this? No, I am Phineas. Ah. Phineas O'Connell, Phineas, Phineas yeah. O'Connell. My sister's Everybody. Billy. My sister is Billy. Oh, my sister's you Billy. Have heard, you have heard it. You said you hadn't heard it. My sister's Billy. My sister is Billy. And I'm Phineas. I'm Phineas. Phineas. I did. Oh. Phineas. Phineas. Where, where, where do you, where do you she, go once she, you've written the song? She fe- featured on it. Where do you go after that once you've written the song that's about yourself and just mentions your name, you know? Oh, you just got to work yourself through the family tree. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great Uncle John. Pirate. My dad is pirate, 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 pirate. I come from a long line of pirates. Starting with my dad. <laughs> from Somalia. Oh fuck, Bevo! Jesus. Come on, dude! Um, no fucking breathe the room. room. <laughs> yeah, their mother, um, Maggie Baird, uh, is an actor. Um, she's been in shows like Walker Texas Ranger, Friends, Jag, Wait, Curb Your Enthusiasm, is it The X Files and The West Wing? Is it Mum Chuck Norris? No, it's. No, um, I think she fucked Chuck Norris in an episode of Walker Texas Ranger. Larry David. Oh, right. Yeah, <clears throat> her yeah. mum's Larry David. Wow, yeah. well, that Crazy, explains it. Hey. Bum, yeah. bum, bum. Your mum's your dad. And what I like is I like. So I'm trying to look up like her dad. Like, so what's her dad do? Yeah, it's his mum because like, her mum's her dad. Works in construction. Uh, yep. Really? Yeah. That old chestnut. Yep. Nah, he's probably not anymore. He's eh? A bit of a workhorse. So, th- so they're mobbed up. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in August 2019, the single was made available for pre-order on cassette and scheduled to ship in October. Selected cassettes were signed. Is this not the most hipster bullshit Selected. you've ever Both of heard them. in your fucking life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cassette. Cassette is hipster as yeah. fuck. Like, that enrages me. It's so hipster. Yeah. So here you can get it. Nothing. You, no one's got anything you can actually play it on. Yeah, and and yeah, how about they're like selected it. selected tapes were signed. Yeah, of course yeah. they were. Like you can't sign them if you don't select them first. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just no, no, you don't just start prodding your pen around blindly, going, "Oh, I've signed something. I'm sure." <laughs> just put random objects in front of you me. Know and I'll it, sign. You know what it reminds me of, and like I can't again, you that. listeners. <laughs> Like, that's um, so I, can, cr- I, I can believe he nah, thought like, that. It's just so Dan yeah. to like bring it up like that. Like fuck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go yeah. On. You know what it reminds me of? And again, I'm gonna I'm I'm taking a new um I'm taking some liberty with the power that we have with this podcast. Um to the thousands and millions of listeners, I urge you to just hang anyone out to dry that does this. Bands that go like, Hey, uh, we're playing a show this this Friday. Limited tickets, so hurry up and get your tickets. <laughs> like, of course they're limited, you fuckwit. Yeah. Unless you live in like space where <laughs> the venue is infinitely big and infinite people can come. It's Immeasurably big. What, yeah. If you're playing Wembley Stadium, tickets are still limited. Fuckwit. Limited. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's only so many people you can fit. Yeah. yeah. Come no, on. No, but even a, then, like, to that's, no. your point's good, but my point is also, like, whenever I tell mates to come, they're like, oh, how many tickets are left? I'm like, fucking heaps, mate. <laughs> no one's coming. Like, just yeah, fucking, yeah. It, yeah. what do you mean? Are there any tickets you know, left? That's it's like, just, oh, that's how, hit, yeah. they're hitting you up for a door spot. Yeah, they are. They are. I know yeah. that. 
But it's also like, oh, do I need to like, should I should I get online and book them now? Like, absolutely not. Rock up on the night and there'll be still fucking plenty of tickets, mate. Let's talk for a my own band. To- my own band is the worst at this. Like, we're going to play this gig on New Year's. The first fucking four messages that come through aren't confirmation of can you play the gig. They're like, how many door spots do we get for it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much money like, are we going to not make from the yeah. four what people the that fuck? are going to come like, to see us anyway? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How many do you want? Those four people that we were riding on to make any money tonight, can we get them in for free? Yes. For free Self-sabotage. Please. Yeah. Idiot. And yeah. the answer is always, um, yes, they can get in. Yep. Yeah, they can come. Um, so she was signed by Interscope Records after an A&R guy came across her song Ocean Eyes on SoundCloud. You know what that reminds me of? Sorry to, sorry to oh, hijack. Fuck. All right. Yeah, um, go for it. Back in my... <laughs> Go on, then, you fucking hero. I don't know if this is that funny anymore now that I've been oh, accosted. You. But um, <laughs> oh, that, when, it, when you interrupted and I was like, oh, whatever, yeah, come on. what? And then you're like, fuck, now I really have to have something good to say. <laughs> and then I stab someone. It's really bad, actually, now I think about it. Ryan just Googles a fake story that's not about him. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, back, in my, uh, back in my TAFE days, we really liked this band called Ass Eyes. And they had a song called I Am A Cloud, which you can find on YouTube, I believe. So yeah, ass eyes, ocean eyes, all the ass, same. Ass eyes, ass like eyes. A-S-S. Ass is that not a great name for a band? Yeah, that's a good name. I like it. Ass eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um. Sorry, that was not worth interrupting. No, no, no. you just got to work in some yeah. extra details. Be like, oh, yeah, I heard uh, this band. They called ass eyes, and then if the story's going nowhere, just be like. And then the next day, uh, <laughs> my arch nemesis took his face off. And, I've actually, uh, I've just quickly Googled arse put, eyes. He put my face on. This I'm is, John Travolta, by the way. This might even um, be funnier than the, the band name itself. Um, 70 videos, 52 subscribers. The Fluffy Fluffy Cloud song, which is the one I was talking about, has 804 views. And they have another song called The Mystery Shitter. Oh, <laughs> nice. nice. So they're really sticking with the theme. Yeah. That's really um, cool. Anyway, hey guys, just while I got yeah, um, I think I just muted Ryan. But <laughs> how can we get him off? <laughs> you want to get Ryan off? Yeah. yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh shit. He's still I there. think you just you just pull his dick. <laughs> yeah. No, I should do it. I watch. Yeah. I watch. Always works. Oh well, I have got a couple more points here. No. Here we go. Too late. Uh, she's one of the very few people in the world that can dress like a fucking drug dealer and also have a Calvin Klein contract. <laughs> Post Malone's probably another one. <laughs> no, I think Post Malone is too obvious. Like he's no, more no, of a he, drug user he's than a, a dealer. He's a drug collector. Yeah, like she looks like she's like she, that's who. If she's walking down the street, she's going, oh, I get it. Like that's why she's got that expensive car. Yeah, but yeah, uh, but Calvin Klein model as well. Apparently, somehow. Um. Yeah. yeah no. Nah, look, I, I think what she did was good. You know, she's done the whole. She hides as much body as she can because she doesn't want anyone to have fucking body issues. Yeah, that's what and I And then mean. and then she was like, and I was well, like, that was look great. Out. Yeah, because she fucking decided <laughs> to take them all off. They she? fucking come. <laughs> um, in 2020 radio interview, her parents revealed that they considered taking her to therapy over her childhood obsession with Justin Bieber. Yeah, we all been there. And how's this? She has oh, Tourette Bieber. syndrome. Mm. Oh, okay. I think Michael Jackson had threat syndrome. Oh, slut, dick. There you go, Ray. I'll say it again. Um, Do you reckon Michael Jackson had Tourette syndrome? Dick. Michael Jackson. Had what? Tourette? Child molester syndrome. <laughs> yes. Tourette? Because he's always doing this like. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon that was a that's thing? Him fo- that's him fighting the urge to touch a kid's dick. Come <laughs> uh. <laughs> on. <laughs> You're being ignorant. I'm sorry. Um, is I'm this sorry the song with the traffic light? You brought it up, Nevo. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do we know? Do we know if this is the song with the traffic light sample? Is that a different? Yeah. Song? It's yes, yeah. we do. Yeah, we got to bring that up. They oh, fucking, well, production. Let's go. Yeah, they bring up fucking they fucking in Australia, right? And their brother's like, "Oh, how cool is the sound of the traffic light? The bloody." That's probably better. What is that in this song? Yeah. And then it stops. And she's and like, goes, Beep. yeah. Beep. You know the part of the song when she's like, 
I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Duh. I'm you know the bit? bad guy. Yeah. I'm true blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bad guy. <laughs> Um, anyway, you know that bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, like, da, and then he goes, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. yeah. Underneath all that, in the left ear, you'll hear. Oh, right. And it's the crossing, the Australian crossing sound. The Australian yeah, they have crossing. Come that? They were in they, Australia they were... on a family holiday. I'm they pretty sure they were on a family oh, holiday. Oh, because they're a bunch they... of rich cunts. That's yeah, why. Yeah, they would have come to Australia. Yeah. Just oh, they might have been doing something. Oh, I don't fucking know. They, they came to Australia yeah. and they laughed. <laughs> they were they were poking fun at the pleb status of Australia compared to right, their okay. lavish rich life. And yeah, yeah I think and, he just uh, recorded on his phone and then sampled it. Sounds like some John Williamson lyrics. Well, they came to Australia and poked. Well, they at came some to fun. Australia on a big ship, Carew. <laughs> except it was a plane and business class too. <laughs> <laughs> And I um, thought the sound of the crossing was worthy <laughs> of recording. Oh, they love the sound of the crossing. Well, they love the sound of the crossing. <laughs> Let us use it and abuse it. <laughs> and oh, I decided along. to put it in a song. <laughs> Here is the song that I'm talking about. <laughs> I am it's... the bad guy. Someone put bad guy on. <laughs> on the bad that guy. is the song oh, I'm man. talking no. about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, want to hear it again? <laughs> I legitimately can't make out a word that she's saying in this entire song. I can't. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, I <laughs> It's one of those things, it's the fucking, it's like you can't hear it, and then, oh, it's the, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. It's like, um, it's when you first read lyrics to something that you've always thought it sounded yeah. like something else, and then once you see them on a page, you're like, oh, fuck, like, I'm never going to not hear the real lyric. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Yeah. It shouldn't be that hard. Like, white shirt, now, red, my blood, the nose, you're like, oh, yeah, fucking, yeah, okay. that's pretty good. I can't tell if it's really good production or really bad I, like i think it's i think it's of, very very it's really hard. simple it's very simple it's definitely original yeah and i think the simplicity is the the art form here yeah cuz i i feel like the way i'm assessing any production these days is like based on the like could i do that and if i couldn't then i actually just think it's amazing i love listening to it right so yeah. i hear this and it sounds like what you it sounds so simple it sounds just like even the start, just the kick drum is like, and it's like, even that, I reckon the whole thing sounds cool, by the way. Even that yeah. sounds cool. And then when she's like whispering, it's like, I feel like there's more layers going on than, than you. Mm. Even realize. the harmonies, it's subtle, but there's some really cool harmonies going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. And the, the, way only, that- the only vocal track that is uh, in the center of the song is the duh. Everything else is le- is hard. Everything left and else hard is right. yeah. 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 Is, yeah. I don't know how I found that out, but yeah, it's it all. It does sound hard left, hard right, but layered yeah. that much that it's like it feels like it's in the center. Like and yeah. when she's doing the harmonies, I, I feel like I'm surrounded by a thousand whispering billies. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Also, the every second click with like the multiple clicks that are just like slightly out. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like the only thing that's cocking. It's like the little hook bit, the boop 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 doo doo doo. Yeah. It's a little bit cringy, but the rest of it's. Sort of I don't like, like that bit at all. I feel it's, like that. It's that it's like cheesy. It's just yeah, shit. Yeah. I can't sounds like not dance. Sounds like it. villain music yeah. from a cartoon or something like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't be. think that's good. Can't I think hard. that's half ass. That shit. Um, you don't, okay. You don't just do this when you hear it. No, I no, sit there I'm and dancing. Absolute silence. What are you doing? Illness. <laughs> I just my go like my eyes glaze over until it stops, and then I start listening to it again. Yeah. Um, what would happen if I just had that been on a loop? If, if your eyes glazed over, like, would, what would be there? Oh, I just that's how my life would just go. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> a little micro yeah, sleep. A little sleep macro that. sleep, really. <laughs> yeah, well, it's um, now, imagine so that. Your, gla- your eyes are glazed and over. Turns and the loop off. Anyone tries to do anything for you, like your wife comes in, they're like, oh, honey, would you like some milk? And you're like, 
Oh, sorry, honey. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm actually quite busy just glazing my eyes. Just can you just 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 come back later until the song's over. Thanks. Yeah, like, I'm sure Dan didn't make the sleep go forever. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he'll turn it off soon. In the meantime, yeah. the the skin will have to grow back on my eyeballs. Um, they've dehydrated. Yeah. They're not moist at all anymore. It's been like hours. Can you clear eyes? <laughs> Get your tongue you, and lick you, your eye, can, eyelid. Yeah, can you splash some water on my on my eyelids? Get some visine in here. Yeah, and just give me. Can you quickly dab my eyelid, my eye sockets, with some cotton wool? And some, um... get, can you go get a like a wet cloth? Yeah, just actually just uh, tie that yeah. to my forehead. <laughs> Sorry. All right, <laughs> video, video, Bevo. Did you watch it? I did. All right, hit it. Fucking tell hit me. Hit it, Dan then. Southern. Hit it. As the video has released and the comments change from Rampy. With Bevo, duh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, cool. Should I whisper this one? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Billie Eilish juxtaposes her bad guy image with some silly dancing and jimboree tumbling. <laughs> jimboree. Just a jimboree back in the day. We'll talk about that in a second. Sentimental jamboree. Just like her bad guy forebears throughout history, such as Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, Adolf Hitler, and Pauline Hansen, she spends time with overweight men in polo shirts and riding miniature cars around a cul de sac. Ah, uh, yeah. Pol Pot doesn't get enough um, buddy shout outs these mm-hmm. days, does he? Mm. Not enough. No. Uh, I think this music video is. Fucking sick. Cut. Yeah, I thought it was How good actually is pretty it? cool. I'd, I'd never seen it. How good before. is it when something is like brightly coloured and contrasted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> what no, a combo. <laughs> it's it's really good. It's directed by Dave Myers. Um he's made he's like the amount of videos this guy's made, just you scroll forever looking at it. He's done stuff for uh, Kid Rock, Jay Z, Lil Wayne. What are Pink you doing, Creed. <laughs> He did um, Weird, Killing Heidi. Oh Weir yeah, clip. the big two. Um, yeah, bad guy yeah. and Weird. Off- yeah, Offspring, Outcast, Slipknot. He's done all the Missy Elliott clips. Which, if you've ever seen a Missy Elliott clip, you sit know like how fucking insane they are. Yeah, I liked her. Can I ask? Sorry, yeah. can I ask you, Zav? Yeah, mate. As a colorblind citizen. Yeah, mate. What's the appeal of this video? Do you do you catch the contrasting colours and stuff? Oh mate, I see it all. Contrast. He I loves the contrast. <laughs> I see it all, mate. Let me tell you what I see. I see all the fucking. I see. I see fucking grey. I see white. <laughs> That's not a colour. And I'm seeing black. I'm seeing all three, um, mate. So all three of them together. Go to one minute twenty six. She appears to be feeding a flock of pigeon, um, <laughs> with her bare hand. She is at Nick Elliott's house. Is she? Yeah. She's at Yellow Rock. She's at Maybe Yellow Rock. Nick knows her. Oh, she is at Yellow yeah. Rock. That's Nick Elliott's house, man. Also, who are you? That's classic reference here here right now is today. not having their phone on charge. That's that was that me. Is, Sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It's plugged in, but um, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> hey, have so, you tried turning um, it off and on again? I'm the bad guy. I really did. I like this clip a lot, but it, uh, the only thing... That I learnt from it, the only thing, yeah. the only little lesson I could possibly take away from it is that I either hate or would hate to spend <laughs> time with her, or hate to spend time with any eighteen-year-old. Yeah. Okay. Well, I get it. Yeah. What she's doing, it's great, but I want no part of it. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. No, I'll give you that. That's, fair. That, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah? Yes, it's it's fun to look at as an observer, but I don't want yeah. any part of that. No, 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 no. no. Like bicycles like, are too come small. Come over. Come over. Nah. No. Nah. Tell us when your next video is out, but don't look. That's it. <laughs> mm. I don't want to. Those bicycles I don't feel are like that's uncomfortable. A, I don't feel looking. like her and I could be friends. I can't imagine inviting an 18-year-old over and being like, hey, do you know what fucking something fun that we could do is? You sit on my back while I do some push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the image of that dude in the black leather and she's bopping around like a 
bloody jack-o'-lantern <laughs> and he's just standing there looking pissed off. Like, that's how it would go. If, yeah. If- it's very much like, it's obviously you know, the sexual connotations in the song and she's not very good at being sexy. Not that she should be, especially, but like, yeah. it's just, it's very awkward. When she's it's trying to be, you're like, telling me yeah. that she's trying to be sexy and seductive. Video. Like she's wearing a fucking snorkel in a living room. <laughs> yeah, but like the bit where she's like, <laughs> "How is that sexy?" Mate? What about the bit where she's like in the red room? Bevo finds it sexy. Mm. And, yeah, um, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna record a rant from Naomi. Oh, good. Um, because she's got a lot to say on the exact topic. Oh, can chuck her on? I tried. She's she's like her exact words were um. Okay, well, she's coming back, but I'll tell you, she yeah. did just say, I've got much better things to do than be on that piece of shit. Okay. And I was like, well, that hurt my feelings. But anyway, look, she's back. So here she, here she comes. It is Naomi doing oh, her thing. Guys, it's Marja here. Uh, look, we have Naomi Robinson, soon to be Southern, uh, in the bloody studio. How are you, Naomi? Hi, guys. Fairly here with the uh, afternoon traffic report. <laughs> 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 What's it looking like on the fucking Northern Distributor? Thanks. Um, let me just say, Albion Park Bypass is fucked. <laughs> yeah. uh, typical day. It's a wet and, yeah. and would you believe it? It is 12.30 in the morning and it's still fucked. <laughs> it is. I'm There's a- no cars on it. Just the road's fucked. <laughs> We're going to change to helicopter reports shortly so we can actually uh, see the traffic from... The two kilometre lineup, <laughs> And there's 50 <laughs> helicopters in the air as well, so they're fucked too. Yeah. <laughs> Valid point. So you're a massive fan of this, Naomi? So I've got a, I've got a few gripes. I'm guessing that we're talking a little bit about the sexualization of Billie Eilish. Mm. I, mm. I wasn't listening so much. Um, I think Zav called her a slut. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that... Ha- yeah. No, what I was saying is that, like, obviously Fuck, the, song, there it goes again. the song has sexual sort of connotations and she's trying to kind of act it out a little bit on the video, but, like, clearly doesn't have that in her, you know... Yeah, it's look, it's concerning. Let's be completely honest. <laughs> I, I when she, when this whole thing first came out, I was a little bit like, like I'm not really about putting young girls in situations where they're acting out, fucking people, um, or even sort of thinking about it. I think like it's beautiful. That's a crazy concept. It's an awesome thing. They should be thinking about it, but I don't think we should be really putting them in that spot at that young age, you know? What if it's your older brother that's making you do it? Especially if your older brother's <laughs> girlfriend looks exactly like you. I don't know. Oh, really? If, oh, you should Google it just real quick and have a quick look. Oh, oh no. don't do that to me. Ah, uh, yes. nightmare yes, material. Yes, yes, yes. It's a, it's a very, very interesting uh, situation going on there. But I think more than anything, I said to Dan, like, uh, one of the things I noticed about her when she first came out is this whole, like, tank top, loose <gasps> clothing she thing. She looks exactly the fucking same. Yeah, see? That's bizarre. Isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Everyone's Googling <laughs> madly now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a creepy, weird situation. Oh, yeah. Like Ron Weasley, if he was Billy <laughs> Eilish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I think that um, when she first came out, they did this whole baggy tea kind of thing. Ooh, and good, I think yeah. it was a setup for like, they're like, this is a chess game. We're at the very start of this really long chess game with Billie Eilish where we're going to make right. fuckloads of money out of her. So let's yeah. cover her right up. And what we're going to do, when things die off a bit and she's looking a bit like she's not getting much of a following, we'll pop yeah. her in a bikini. And, pop a titty out. Yeah, and get some photos of her on a boat. <laughs> it happened. Um, Did it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she she got like there were photos of her just taken by paparazzi. Who knows? Conspiracy theories, whatever. Yeah. But um, all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, Billie Eilish! Like she's got breasts, and um, oh, and she was back on right. the scene during COVID, right? Because there's nothing much going on during COVID. Mm. Um, and I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking it's a little bit of a. There's a lot of money involved here, and if we play the long game with her, before you know it, she'll be she'll be doing a full Miley with the chicken. Fucking flap outfit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Chicken outfit. Getting the flaps out. Mm. Getting the flaps out. Fucking ducks. <laughs> chicken, <laughs> chicken flaps for your flaps. Um, you know those chicken fillets that you can put in your, your bra before you can afford a boob job? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing but for your vagina flaps. 
Really? No, I just made it up, but what a fun time oh, that would be. I was going to say. <laughs> Daryl, have you got any of those fucking flat things? <laughs> That'd be on the Mamma Mia network for sure. You're like 17 and getting fingered and you're like, just a sec, I've just got to duck to the bathroom and pop my fillets out. <laughs> Daryl! Or in. Or in, yes, if you, want in. A, if you want that kind of swole feel, I guess. Um, um, yeah. Is she a leto? Oh, I don't think I don't think she even knows what she is at this point. I, okay, I certainly right. would be if my brother was trying to fuck me. Yeah, mm. weird stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's a real sort of fucking gladiator vibe uh, about it. Yeah, um, it's what yeah. is it, Oedipus syndrome with, with the mum and the son? So yeah, it's weird shit. Yeah, some wild stuff. But yeah, that's my take on it. I think it's a very clever marketing tool, and um, yeah, I'd like to see how the long game plays out then. Yeah, well, you know. M- Write this in your diary as a bit of a uh, prediction well, mark for me. Down. Mark it down. Mark it down. Yeah. She, mark it fucking down. She's probably going to have like a bit of an incident uh, like Janet Jackson had at the Super Bowl or something. Titty pop. Yeah. There'll be something. Maybe okay. Maybe a chicken fillet a vag <gasps> flap situation. Imagine if, mm. the, imagine if there was a flap over a costume and like Justin Timberlake just reefs it and a vag is just out. <laughs> again. And they're like, Justin, again? <laughs> Oh, will she do it? Will she do a uh, Lady Gaga where she just strapped herself in like red meat, but she'll wrap herself just... in chicken poultry meat and die of salmonella? <laughs> oh god, it's a, it's a terrible yeah. time. Yeah, this podcast has good. been a journey. It has, hasn't it? <laughs> what a time We've to gone be many places alive. on this episode. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of legacy for it here. Mm. Um, so, Bad Guy was a commercial success, reaching number one on the US Billboard Hot 100, mm. as well as the charts in Australia, Canada, Estonia, Finland, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Woo! New Zealand, Norway, and Russia. Uh, in the United States, Bad Guy ended the record-breaking 19-week run of Old Town Road oh, by Lil Nas X, featuring cool. Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm. P- poor Lil Nas X, eh? He's on this bloody 19-week run, and this comes along. Knocks him off. And you know what Billy said when she heard all this? She went, yes. And that was it. <laughs> well, it was Billy uh-huh. taken over from another Billy. And her brother Billy said, definitely. Billy, take my pants off. Mm. Oh, the brother thing is freaking me out, really. It's very, mm. very, now that you've seen the girlfriend, is it like... Yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, that's, yeah that's bizarre. Yeah. I'm not happy about where fucking tonight's ended up, guys. <laughs> Just gonna say. Let, me, let me rein this in a little bit then quickly. Do you want to talk a set list? Do you want to try and guess a little set list? Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck. She's only got like four songs, doesn't well, she? Let me tell you. If you You're are going correct. to see Billie Eilish, or if you are Billie Eilish, it's the 9th of March 2020 in Miami. You have and a, you have COVID. You have a 22 <laughs> song set list, probably the last one before you have COVID. Yeah. Uh, where, How long? 22 songs. What does she what do? What the fuck is she playing? Well, tell she's you, doing a fucking a Pink Floyd and doing like one whole side of an album, which is one song that goes for like thirty minutes. She has a song called Eight, and she played that seventh, which is a huge eight, and it goes for eight e minutes, in my opinion. But um, okay, Naomi, if you are Billie Eilish, you're playing Bad Guy in your twenty-two song set. Where would you place this? Look, if I'm really clever, I'm I'm gonna hope that everyone sticks around till number twenty-two, but it's really unlikely. So um, probably number. I don't know, maybe number 10? Right in the middle. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Chibs? Uh, is any, are any of these an encore or is it? Uh, it doesn't say, so let's assume no. Okay. Um, that's a lot of songs. <laughs> How many? 20? Uh, 20. Yeah, uh, last, 22. Tav? Uh, no, I reckon, I reckon, like, I reckon she's fucking... She's done something where she's so, like she's made people buy heaps of tickets for like real expensive, and they're just young kids, and their parents just want them to see the one song. So she's like, all the other songs can just be half ass. So I'm saying first, like everyone just wants to come and see that first song, then all the young kids can go to bed. Could be first. Could be first. Twenty one out of twenty two songs. Ah, oh, yeah. so oh, second last. Close. That's close. Just before the, what did she end with? Uh, a song called Goodbye, which is fitting. Is that just her saying? So goodbye? long, farewell. <laughs> How for you to stand good night? Good night. Okay, well, there you go. So she is the youngest person uh, and the second <laughs> ever. person She's the in youngest history. person ever. 
<laughs> the second person in history to win the four main Grammy categories of Damn. Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Album. Who's of the, the year. youngest? Uh, I don't know. Justin Bieber. I don't. I don't know. Swifty. Um. Nah. Shut up, Dan. <laughs> You're not on this anymore. Zach Hansen. And um. Zach Hansen. Zach Hansen, guys. Oh. Man, I made a mistake. Oh. It was the last. The goodbye is the outro tape. Sorry. Yeah, fuck. So I got so it. You got it yeah. Thank you. Okay, Eilish you is fuck. the 23rd biggest artist of the digital sales era, according to the Recording Industry uh, Association of America, selling 40 million singles in the US alone. Uh, net worth. What is Billie Eilish's net worth in 2020, Bevo? $5 million. Dav? Well, okay. That, yeah, look. <laughs> I, Bev's, with my point of what I was going to say is ruined because Bev went so low. I was going to say there's no way she could earn a mil- $100 million in like two years. I was going to starve true. it. Yeah. I'm going to say $50 million. Okay. Naomi? Uh, I'll go with $42.5 million. The winner is Ryan Beveridge. You know what She's gonna- worth six. She's worth six million. I was thinking about like Metallica right. money, and like she hasn't been around yeah. nearly as long. So yeah, I still thought six million was pretty low, but I reckon her brother's got. Like, it's just it's early long. days. That's all. I also think he's got more of a cut than her. Interesting. I, that's that's what I reckon. All she yeah. wants is the track suits, so like she yeah. doesn't need that much. Six mil should get her a few trackies. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. nice. All right, let's rate this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to rate this shit. Um, so how, ma- how many does out of uh, 10, 10 being that you've said it so many times, now you're completely retarded, and one being that you are of sound mind? <laughs> um, sound mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bloody, what do you give it out of 10, Bevo? This song fucking rocks. I I think it's a really good song. One. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dav? Ryan, every, every score you ever give. <laughs> I actually really I like just, this album too. It's, it's, like it's, it's really, it's like I just, I'm not, I just, <laughs> ah, just kidding me. It's fucking one. Yeah, it's a good song. Good, yeah. Fuck great. <laughs> Uh, okay, Dan and Naomi. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Ready? We give this song a two. one. Ooh. <laughs> so that's three. Imagine being sabotaged by like, that's the average of two. Jibs, um, don't. I give it an eight. No. Oh, hates it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. I don't want any part of her, this, anything. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like it. it. I, I thought I you told you'd be someone that... that would. You, I thought you'd respect the fact that she has made so much money out of just giving deadpan eyes. I uh, I just don't like anything about her <laughs> or this song. Fair enough. Turn Good on, on you, mate. Farewell. You once told me that like something you really enjoy about music <laughs> is when people sample Australian crossings. You yeah. told me that specifically. Yeah. You said. The Australian, it's in my top five. Yeah. It's in New my South top Wales, five. The sound samples, of the New South Wales yeah. pedestrian crossing is your favourite sample. Neighbours theme song. Anyone that did it is great. Hey, True mm. Blue. Like... <laughs> Still call Australian. You know we belong crossings. together. <laughs> I think if Home. this comes on, if this came on my Spotify playlist, I skip it almost instantly. No way. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It is mostly to do with that fucking circus music that is the chorus. No way. It can <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Just yeah. out of curiosity, do you have you heard any of her other stuff? No. Nah. Anyway, let's go. Oh, no. Ocean Eyes is a <laughs> fucking massive piece of shit. Oh, That's a ten. No. I don't know that one. Bury a friend, I think, yeah. is really good. Yeah. And um, um the one where she's thinking um, about being a bad guy look, is pretty good. All right. You know what? Let's let's fucking reconvene when she goes all wine house on us and just fucks off the earth. <laughs> oh, God. Then she'll be a legend. <laughs> all right. You're all fucked. See you. Bye. Marjay here signing off once again. (laughs) I'm fucked, actually. I am.